Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Teacher Alistair, and today I'd like to read Chapter 1 of our Magic Treehouse Number 3 book, Mummies in the Morning. Are you ready? Let's go. Chapter 1. Meow. It's still here, said Jack. It looks empty, said Annie. Jack and his seven-year-old sister gazed up at the very tall oak tree. At the top of the tree was a treehouse. Late morning sunlight lit the woods. It was almost time for lunch. Shh, said Jack. What was that noise? What noise? I heard a noise, Jack said. He looked around. It's it sounded like someone coughing. <coughs> I didn't hear anything, said Annie. Come on, let's go up. She grabbed the rope ladder and started climbing. Jack tiptoed over to a clump of bushes. He pushed aside a small branch. Hello, he said. Anybody there? There was no answer. Jack, come on, Annie called down. The treehouse looks the same as it did yesterday. Jack still felt that someone was nearby. Could it be the person who'd put all the books in the treehouse? Jack, called Annie. Jack gazed over the tops of the bushes. Was the mysterious M person watching him now? Maybe M wanted the gold medallion back, the one Jack found on their dinosaur adventure. Maybe M wanted the leather bookmark back, the one from the castle book. There was an M on the medallion and an M on the bookmark. But what did M stand for? Tomorrow, I'll bring everything back, Jack said loudly. A breeze swept through the woods. The leaves rattled. Come on, called Annie. Jack went back to the big oak tree. He grabbed the rope ladder and climbed up. When he reached the top, he crawled through the hole in the wooden floor. He tossed down his backpack and pushed his glasses into place. Hmm, which book is it going to be today, said Annie. She was looking at the books scattered around the treehouse. Annie picked up the book about castles. Just yesterday, the castle book had taken Jack and Annie back to the time. Yeah. No, dance or whatever. Dance. <laughs> 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 she said. She handed the book to Jack. You're right, said Jack, amazed. The book had gotten soaked in the castle moat, but today it looked fine. Jack silently thanked the mysterious knight who had rescued them. Watch out, warned Annie. She waved a dinosaur book in Jack's face. Put that away, Jack said nervously. The day before yesterday, the dinosaur book had taken them to the time of dinosaurs. Jack silently thanked the pteranodon that had saved him from a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And he put the dinosaur book back with the other books. Then she gasped. <gasps> wow, she whispered. Look at this. She held up a book about ancient Egypt. Jack caught his breath. <gasps> he took the book from her. A green silk bookmark was sticking out from between the pages. Jack turned to the page with the bookmark. There was a picture of a pyramid. Going toward the pyramid was a long parade. 
Four huge cows were pulling a sled. On the sled was a long gold box. Many Egyptians were walking behind the sled. At the end of the parade was a sleek black cat. Let's go there, whispered Annie. Now. Wait, said Jack. He wanted to study the book a bit more. Pyramids, Jack, said Annie. You love pyramids. It was true. Pyramids were high on Jack's list of favorite things. After knights and dinosaurs. Plant-eating dinosaurs, that is. He didn't have to worry about eating, being eaten by a pyramid. Okay, he said, but hold the Pennsylvania book in case we want to come right back here. Annie found the book with the picture of their hometown in it. Frog Creek, Pennsylvania. Jack pointed to the pyramid picture in the Egypt book. He cleared his throat <clears throat> and said, I wish we could go to this place. Ow. What was that? Jack looked out of the treehouse window. A black cat was sitting on a branch right outside the window. The cat was staring at Jack and Annie. It was the strangest cat Jack had ever seen. It was very sleek and dark, with bright yellow eyes and a wide gold collar. It's the cat in the Egypt book, whispered Annie. The wind started to blow. The leaves began to shake. Here we go, cried Annie. The wind whistled louder. The leaves shook harder. Jack closed his eyes as the treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still. Absolutely still. Good job reading the chapter with me today, guys. Did you know you can scroll down and see all of the other videos, like the songs and the quizlets for our chapter two? I got the song right here. Boo! Yeah. And you can practice the new words on Quizlet, story questions, or even read the chapter again with me in English and Chinese. Nice. That way, Every day, in every way, your English will be getting better and better. Okay, guys, remember, loving, kind, happy, and grateful. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.